Deep in the woods stood an abandoned quarry. Once a bustling site of rock extraction, the site was eventually converted into a cemetery. But it was left to decay after the rumors of ghost sightings and strange occurrences started to surface. One night, a group of teenagers decided to explore the abandoned cemetery. They were daring each other to go deeper into the woods, pushing the limits of their fears. As they entered the cemetery, they saw a figure of a nun in a white habit, wandering among the graves. The group was spooked, but they were convinced it was just a prank. As they walked deeper into the cemetery, they started to notice strange occurrences. The air grew colder, and the wind started to howl. The gravestones began to shift and move, as if something was trying to escape from the ground. Suddenly, one of the teenagers screamed in terror, pointing at the ghost nun, who was now standing right in front of them. The nun beckoned the group to follow her, leading them to a hidden area in the cemetery. There, they saw an old chapel, covered in cobwebs and decay. The nun pointed to a gravestone, and the group saw that it was marked with their names. They were terrified, as they realized that they were not alone in the cemetery. Suddenly, the first twist in the story emerged. The ghost nun revealed herself to be the former nun who ran the cemetery, Sister Agatha. She explained that the cemetery was built on a cursed ground, and that the spirits of the deceased were angry at the living for disturbing their rest. She warned the group that they must leave before it was too late. The group attempted to leave, but they found themselves trapped in the cemetery. The gravestones had shifted, blocking their path, and the wind grew stronger, threatening to pull them into the abyss. The group was desperate, and they begged Sister Agatha for help. That's when the second twist emerged. Sister Agatha revealed that she was not a ghost at all, but a living person who had been trapped in the cemetery for years. She had been tasked with maintaining the cemetery, but she had become trapped when the spirits became angry at the living. Sister Agatha had been waiting for years for someone to help her escape, and she saw the group as her only hope. The group worked together, pushing and shoving the gravestones until they finally cleared a path. They ran towards the exit, with Sister Agatha leading the way. As they exited the cemetery, they looked back, and they saw the ghost nun fading away into the darkness. The group never returned to the cemetery, but they often wondered about the fate of Sister Agatha. Some believed that she had found her way back to the living, while others believed that she was still trapped in the cemetery, forever haunted by the ghosts of the deceased. Regardless of the truth, they knew that they had experienced something terrifying and otherworldly, something that would stay with them for the rest of their lives. Years had passed since the group's encounter at the cemetery, but they couldn't shake off the feeling of unease whenever they thought about it. Some members of the group had even started experiencing strange occurrences in their own homes, as if something was following them from the cemetery. One member of the group, Sarah, couldn't take it anymore. She had been experiencing nightmares and waking up to find objects moved around her room. She decided to seek out a psychic medium, hoping to find answers and put her mind at ease. The medium revealed that Sarah had been cursed by the spirits of the cemetery. She explained that Sister Agatha had not been entirely honest with the group, and that there was more to the curse than what they had been told. The medium revealed that there was a powerful entity that resided in the cemetery, one that had been awakened by the group's intrusion. Sarah was terrified, but she knew that she had to face the entity to break the curse. She gathered the remaining members of the group, and they made their way back to the cemetery. As they entered the cemetery, they were greeted by a thick fog that obscured their vision. They could hear whispers and voices coming from the shadows, urging them to turn back. But they pressed on, determined to face the entity and put an end to the curse. As they reached the chapel, they found themselves face to face with the entity. It was a dark, shadowy figure that seemed to be made of smoke and mist. The entity spoke in a voice that echoed through the cemetery promising to claim their souls and make them one with the dead. But Sarah and the group were not afraid. They stood their ground, determined to fight the entity and break the curse. They called upon the power of their faith and their bond as friends, and they charged towards the entity. The battle was intense, and it lasted for what felt like hours. But in the end, the group emerged victorious. The entity dissipated into the air, and the curse was broken as they left the cemetery. Sarah and the group felt a weight lifted from their shoulders. They knew that they had faced something terrifying and dangerous, but they had overcome it together. 
They walked away from the cemetery, leaving behind the ghosts and the curses, and they knew that they would never be the same again.